stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 5, Episode 12. Um, before, let me get this out the way. This episode was basically boring, so if it's not a long video, sorry. But it really wasn't that much to this video besides it was the Kenya show once again. Um, before I start, let me tell you, I don't like Kenya, so if anybody likes Kenya and gets mad, sorry, but I, I, I don't feel her. Um, they start off at a hair show, a hair event or something like that with Cynthia, uh, Peter, Kenya, and, um, Miss Lawrence, and Derek Jay. So they are talking, and Kenya is telling them about her stallion booty video. And which I thought was kind of shady, but what put it past me with Kenya through this whole season, nothing's put, nothing past me. It's nothing surprising when it comes to her. Um, she's telling them all about the stallion booty video that she has, and everybody was like, they're, they start bashing like Sager's donkey booty video, and people like, oh, I don't want a donkey booty video, and I was like, y'all are some motherfucking haters, like y'all are scandalous, like y'all fake ass friends fake ass associates, because even associates I deal with, I don't just talk about them just to be talking about them for no fucking reason. Like, what is the point? Like, shady ass old women and old, I don't know, wannabe women, because them ain't men either, but wannabe women. I just I just didn't like that about that whole little get down with them talking about Phaedra and her video. All of a sudden, when y'all was on Phaedra's side, when she first brought the Dunkin' Booty video. But, anyway, Nene, Greg, and Bri Asia, they at the house because Nene's back in Atlanta and she wants to spend time with her granddaughter. So, they bought the baby a crib and they put it together. And both of them, Greg and Nene, was having this big hard time about this crib. And I'm sitting there like, who put Brent and Bryson's crib, cradle, whatever, together? Because y'all ain't been rich all y'all life. Nene, you ain't been rich all your life. So who put their beds together that y'all were so damn dumbfounded at this time? Like, come on. Anyway, I do like the baby. I think the baby is cute. I think the baby still looks, must look like the mama. But anyway, that's all that happened with them. Candy, she goes to Derek J's shop to get her hair done. Um, I don't know what he did. Her hair was the same way she walked in, was the same way she went out. So I don't, I didn't see him wash, condition, nothing. All I saw him do was. Put the flat iron to her hair like once or twice. But I didn't see him do nothing to her hair. I don't know if it was editing, but he didn't do shit to her hair. So he starts telling her about Kenya's stallion booty video. But my thing is, you didn't tell her all the whole story of that event. So he goes and tells her about the video. She calls Phaedra and tells Phaedra. Phaedra like, I don't care. Don't nobody want that fake lumpy, lumpy booty, whatever. So they started talking about the video, and Candy really wasn't feeling it. Candy was like, that is wrong. That, regardless of y'all supposed to be associate friends or whatever, she went and tried to steal your idea. It was wrong. And I appreciate that about Candy, because Candy was the only one that did not stab Phaedra in the back and talk about her, talk about the video, and she said what she had to say to Kenya. So I like the that about her. I like how she was, when Kenya was trying to clear it up, Candy was like, that's just like you trying to go behind my back and steal my ideas. And she was like, said something to Candy. And Candy was like, uh-uh, don't even play. And I was sitting there like, bitch, don't even play. But not with a can of Candy one. Candy might cut you up. Um, what else happened? Cynthia, she has the rehearsal for the kids because she's having an AIDS, HIV, like kind of event. And they having the kids walk this time. So she's having a rehearsal. She was kind of strict on the kids, but... For good reason. She has an agency and she wants her agency to represent well. So you have to be on the kids and make sure they're doing what they need to be doing. She wasn't like a dance mom. And that lady, Abby, can dance mom. She wasn't like that, so I appreciated that. But I would have wanted her to be on my kids. Like, you walk, you look, you got to do what you got to do. She just can't be embarrassed in her agency. Um, She kept plugging her agency. She kept saying the Cynthia Bailey agency. She kept plugging her agency. But, um, yeah, so then, um, Tiny Kids was there. I thought that was cute. Um, what I didn't like is Phaedra walking in there a little extra, extra late. Then her son looked like he didn't want to do it. So I was just like, why is they there? This little boy wants to go play with Tonka Trunks, Legos or something, but this is not what this little boy want to do. 
I don't know if they're doing it for Bravo, but this little baby did not want to be in this show. And then they made Apollo be in the show. Apollo didn't want to do that because she was for kids. Like, come on now. Um, then Portia walks in. She didn't have no damn kids with her, so why was she there? Like, what what was the point of Portia there? Somebody please leave it down in the comments. Tell me why was Portia there? Um, then they go outside after the rehearsal, and they're talking, and Portia brings up the Stallion Booty video. How did she know? I don't know, but I know word travels really, really fast for her, because she wasn't at that event, and she doesn't talk to Kenya, so how did she find out? But anyway, um, Phaedra was looking all stupid and dumbfounded when she brought it up, but Phaedra was like, whatever, it's cool, um... It, it's shady, and they were all talking about it. Cynthia was in the middle looking very uncomfortable because she's now all of a sudden so cool with Kenya. After all the shades that Kenya threw Cynthia, I don't get it. But y'all know, Cynthia follows her. Cynthia follows the crowd. She wants to be everybody down friend. But, um, yeah, so they were talking about that. And who... Phaedra was talking about how she um, thinks Kenya's unbalanced and she drinks or some shit she was like in reference to her drinking. And I was just like, for real? All of a sudden? Now that she's coming after you, now she's a drunk? Like, come on, Phaedra. Like, I didn't get that. I mean, she's on something. She might be on some pills. She's on, she on something because she's crazy. Might be mixing medicine with drinking. I don't know because something's some wrong with Kenya. But for Phaedra to say that after you get into it with her, that was kind of like, what the hell, because you wasn't saying that when you was cool with her. Um, then, after all of that, Kenya and Candy, they go shopping at a production place or something where, because she wants to get some stuff for Riley's room, and then Kenya took her there because she got the props in there for the stuff that she did for Phaedra. So they're talking or whatever, and Candy just blatantly tells her, like, she wasn't feeling that, that she felt like, um, Kenya was copying Phaedra, and she was like, no, mine is a stallion booty, mine is about the body, and it's a girl, boo. Like, whatever. I sure was not feeling Candy. I don't, I mean, Kenya, I don't like Kenya. I was mad that even Candy gave her the time of day to kick it with her. So, yeah, anyway, whatever. Um, Phaedra and Apollo, they go meet with the people that, I guess the production people, um, she wants to do her video with since the deal with Kenya fell through. So they're asking her what do she want and she tells Apollo to get up and do the exercises. Apollo, sit down. Sit down, boo boo. Sit down. Like you shouldn't be there but nothing to just look good. That's it. You shouldn't talk. You shouldn't move. You shouldn't do nothing. Like you can't talk and move at the same time. I don't know. Apollo just something to look at because he he don't seem too smart. He don't seem too bright. She don't even seem too bright, but hell, whatever. I just, I don't know. That that, that disturbs me to even see his hips rolling, moving, whatever. It, it disturbs me. But they agreed to do the, um, they agreed to do it with her. One of the guys was, when she asked, and the guy said, yeah, the other guy was looking at him like, for real? But I think he agreed because they were first on TV. Then they probably felt like, okay, this is Housewives of Atlanta. They do have a big, you know, audience, so maybe that would be good for our business. I don't know, but they didn't look like they really wanted to, but they did it anyway. Um, anyway, Portia and Phaedra, they go have a sit down and they talk, and they have a Bash and Kenya fest. Like, like, come on, get. Uh, I'm so over. I like Portia. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Portia. I think she be pretty. Her confessional, she be pretty. She. Her makeup on point, hair be on point, clothes be on point. I like Portia. She doesn't, I don't feel like everybody else when they talk about Portia. Um, but I do think that Portia should get over talking about Kenya. Like, can we find out some more about you and Cordell? Find out more about your life? Because I'm, 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 I'm sick of hearing about Kenya. I'm sick of hearing about you, of what y'all went through. Um... But I guess you need somebody, since somebody else got a problem with it, then y'all got something to bond over. But my thing is, Portia, go with caution when it comes to Phaedra because she wasn't feeling you all until she got into it with Kenya. All of a sudden now she wants to be a friend, so please go with caution when it comes to being these ladies' friends. That's all I'm saying. Um, since she has her fashion show, and it goes off cool. Are the kids look cool. Some of the kids look a little too grown. Um, 
sex. Then he was like, oh, that's me, and that's Cynthia, and I'm sitting there like, no, 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 no. Do you think their parents are probably yelling at the people saying, no, bitch, them are my kids, that's me, and their daddy, not you and Cynthia. But anyway, the uh, fashion show, it was cool. It was really cool. Kenya was getting all, looking all kind of saucy because all of a sudden, Phaedra and Portia is friends. So she was looking at that kind of saucy, like, oh, all of a sudden they're friends. Which I probably would have been too, like, you didn't like her. You probably didn't say something to Kenya about Portia. Now all of a sudden y'all friends. Anyway, after the show, all the people, all of them are talking. They're talking to Nene and they bring up the stallion booty video. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to do a video since I already had this and the works or whatever. And they still want to work with me, so I'm going to do it and yada, yada, yada. And I'm sitting there like, whatever. I'm just over it. My thing is, if she was doing a video, she could have just did some kind of regular exercise video. It just didn't have to have booty in it. It didn't have to be focused on the booty part because that do look like you're biting, can you? Sorry. But, um, yeah, so then Phaedra walks over and she wants to know what they're talking about. Because Phaedra ain't stupid. She knew they were talking about her. So, um, they all start talking, going back and forth. They both start going back and forth about this video. And I laughed so hard when Phaedra was like, isn't a stallion a man horse? Because I was saying the same thing, like, what the hell? Like, that's a man. Like, a stallion means man. And she was like, no, it's, yeah, but it's about the physique. And it's like, no, bitch, it's a man. And you already been called a transsexual, a drag queen, and all that. And you still want to do a video called Stallion. I don't get it. But, yeah, that, that, that shit it bothered me. Um... I wasn't, I'm not here for Kenya stealing nobody's ideas. Then when Apollo walks up, he called her a biter, and she was like, what, what's that, speak English, what's that, but you know what a biter is, you ain't, you from Detroit, you from the hood, come on, don't, don't, don't play, like, oh, oh, what's that, and then he was like, a copycat, I fell out laughing so hard, like, yeah, bitch, a copycat, you are such a copycat, and he knew the small words, well, that's what that is. But, yeah, he knew the small words, and she was like, well, yeah, I'm going to be copying, catching all my checks. And then she twirled off. And I'm like, bitch, no, twirl your ass off the show. I just don't like Kenya. She just, she too much. She just too much to be so damn old. You 40 and fabulous, come on now, and you act like a child. You act some four and foolish, for real. Um, Next week, it's going to be some more foolishness with Kenya, because she's going to apparently dress up as Phaedra, and she's going to be like, oh, I'm a drunk, I'm a drunk. So, to me, that shows you that Kenya went and ran her mouth because only people who were there with that conversation was Kenya, Portia, and, um, I mean, not Kenya, Phaedra, Portia, and Cynthia when she was talking about her drinking. And Portia don't talk to Kenya, so it only could have been Cynthia that was, um, went back and told Kenya that she said that because how would she know that she called her drunk? But we'll see next week. Anyway, this is my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 5, Episode 12. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on Twitter at the Get Over You, T-H-A, not T-H-E, Miss Nika, M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69. Um, Facebook me at the Get Over You. Talk to me, and I'll talk back. All right, peace.